Mike Mbovi Sonko has promised to keep unleashing incriminating recordings of top judges, lawyers and other public servants. He says the infamous Sonko leaks are his way of assisting the Chief Justice, ESCC and DPP to fight graft. Here's a sneak preview of the exclusive interview with the former governor early today. Former Nairobi governor, Mike Mbovi Sonko. My name. It's good to see you. Good. You have caused a firestorm the last couple of days, Sonko leaks. Yeah. Trends Zoten is where we're squeezing. <laughs> <laughs> I think top line because we just recently spoke to um, the judge uh, Chitembwe side oh. of the high court and he in sitting down with us said that you had unleashed those uh, clips on social media implicating him in, in bribery claims and allegations because of the decision uh, that was made in Governor Kananu, allowing her then to assume office as governor, dismissing your matter. So, briefly, is it that you were just hitting back, pissed off that that war had finally come to an end for you? No. Let me just first remove my coffee yeah. for Kenyans when you leave Missouri. Actually, I totally disagree with those remarks uh, made by my good friend who said that is my relative, I don't deny that. Um, I want to deny those particular uh, claims. Number one, uh, he said first those are edited clips, which is not true. And I want to give you a very good example, uh, Sophie. When you go take a footage, you're looking for news. You send your crew to the ground. They can take a raw clip. It could be one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. But when they come back to the studio, they concentrate on that particular clips. news That is what you take. Right. But the good thing, you have the raw footage in your editorial office or whatever. Uh, uh, department. Mm -hmm. So I totally disagree with the judge. Those clips are authenticated. And I started dealing with the judge way back in 2016. And yes. You have told me I should not go to the details of some of these issues that are in court. It will be subjudice for me yes. to discuss those issues. Yeah. But also, I need to be given a chance to defend myself on the allegations raised by the judge. Mm -hmm. Number one, he said I was his, his relative. So he knew I was his relative. Why then do you? Take my matter if you know me, my relative. Okay, that's one, one. He should have recused himself from handling my, my matter. Mm -hmm. We've dealt with so many cases in the judiciary. Once a judge has any relationship with you, whether it's your, not even a relative, a friend, anakujua, manakunyo pamoja, he has to recuse himself. Okay. And I think that all judges, that is how they should uh, behave when they're handling a matter, ya mutu ambaye, akona interest na mayeye. So the judge is wrong. Number two. The judge said, those clips were taken by Jimmy. Yeah? Mm -hmm. so, so he knew very well he was being recorded. He said he knew he's after the fact, because he said he asked where your phone was, and he said it was in the car. Then later, yeah. from the way the clips looked, is he, when he said... He's lying. You know, so uh, who was we, recording? We had, we, had, we had a land transaction with the judge, even before he took over my impeachment case. And I don't want us to go to the uh, land yeah, transaction. Yeah, but if I have to defend myself, I'm not going to the details, I'll not mention names. But I'll allow just, I just want Kenyans <laughs> to just know what has been transpiring. Mm -hmm. The outcome of my judgment was influenced by a certain cartel of people who didn't want me back to the, to the office. And that is not how judges operate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Judges in Watu you don't discuss the merits of a case with third parties. Uh, but regarding, and as far as this interview is concerned, so this is for you not a vengeance plot against the said judge? No. This for you is Actually, what? the one... What's the, what, what is inspiring all of this? Okay, actually, it's the one these clips who on plotted against, against me. Mm -hmm. It is true, we had a meeting after the judgment, but also we used to meet before the judgment. We were dealing in some other land matters where money exchange hands, yeah. He had uh, uh, presided over a land matter in Malindi in 2016. 2017, I bought these properties without 
knowing that the judge had an interest in the properties. Allegedly, yeah, again, this uh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. claim so you're we, making. We, okay. Yeah, so let's... It would be difficult for me to clear my name at this juncture. But no problem. Yeah. I'll do it in the, the, the court of public opinion. Yeah. Public in the, opinion. The, the way I do it, yes. I'll just do it. Because so, I've not filed any case in the JSC, even mm -hmm. though we respect the Chief Justice, we respect the Judiciary and the JSC. But the moment I file my case, I'll, I'll not have a chance of explaining the details of any case that is before the JSC or any court that is involving myself. Remember, we will air the full interview with Sonko later on in this bulletin.